as you're probably aware, you know, as finance people, complexity and breadth has increased over time. So if you think about it kind of from left to right progression, it's kind of started off as like a scorekeeper, but now you can see like on the far right, there's much more expected of finance in terms of not only controllership, financial operations, but also reporting and business planning and also now analytics. So the complexity and the burden on finance has increased tremendously. What are some of the challenges that you know, we see out there and, and what customers are telling us? Well, first of all, they lack visibility. There's limited ability to create what if scenarios, which again are needed more than ever. You know, one only look at the last couple of years to see kind of how much modeling and what if capabilities would be needed, you know, were needed in that time. As well as there's just been a proliferation of data sources. So just, you know, data rich, but also information poor. There's also a disconnect, disconnect between strategic objectives and long range planning, as well as very time consuming manual efforts required to get plans and forecasts out the door. So this is some of the challenges that we're seeing out there in the market. Those challenges are really, um, you know, exacerbated by essentially an old approach to planning, which is, you know, significant time and labor, difficult to orchestrate, you know, lack of continuity between functions. There's discrepancies between data sources. We see this so much in terms of who's got the right number. There's a siloed approach typically to planning. There's limited capabilities to, to make adjustments. There's isolated, and, and that really creates an isolated decision-making environment where there's lack of visibility into kind of what others are doing, lack of co collaboration, and really a lack of connectivity. What Anaplan provides is really a, a new approach, and really what's needed is a new approach to overcome those challenges as well as, you know, the, the, the traps of, you know, legacy technologies where you know the new approach is really all about unified dynamic modeling which is a flexible collaborative and scalable approach there's also traceability and linkages to all other functions and and, and you know and, um, and and planning across the organization there's also the much coveted single single source of the truth in terms of the planning truth the ability to run analysis you know analytics and analysis rapidly and accurately as well as you know, comprehensiveness of plan drivers, so linked dependencies. So how does the output of one step in the planning process affect the other? Or what's the downstream implications of any changes made in upstream dependencies? A single platform provides that capability, and that's really Anaplan. And the ability to create, rapidly create new scenarios, in, you know, and especially in the volatility that's out there now. For instance, the Fed is meeting over the next couple of days with a big decision on Wednesday, there's a ton of modeling associated with that. And how can a platform facilitate rapid responses to those, to those dynamic changes? Also too, a planning, pla you know, what's really needed is a planning platform that really goes beyond finance. So if you think about sort of this, this uh, sort of stack here where you have like strategic planning at the top, Definitely that needs to be done, but that strategic planning also has to be linked to financial planning, the ability to do your traditional revenue and COGS and OPEX and P&L planning and balance sheet cash flow, et cetera. But then also that also has an impact or, or is impacted by operational, you know, operational planning, which means the platform also has to go beyond finance into other areas such as supply chain, such as workforce planning and the HR function, sales and marketing, as well as other types of specific planning that might pertain to your organization, such as things like cost allocations or project valuations or resource modeling or portfolio type of analysis. And also that platform has to talk to your core system, such as ERPs and CRMs and HRIS systems and so on. It also has to work better, has to work or work within your existing stack. So you might have day-to-day -day operational systems like your ERP, CRM, and human capital management systems, such as some listed in that, that, bottom, uh, that bottom section. But it also has to work, work with things such as consolidation and closed systems. It also has to work, you know, across, you know, has to be, you know, and this is kind of where Anaplan comes in, which is that enterprise-wide planning system, which really can talk to your consolidation and closed systems as well as your transactional systems. And then on top of that, you can layer in, you know, connections to BI and analytics systems, as well as 
other sort of collaborative decision making systems as well, such as, you know, where you might want to do some ad hoc analysis in Excel and PowerPoint or, or what have you. But that's really where Anaplan fits into your existing technology stack. It's that single source of the planning truth that connects to all your other op all your other you know source systems operational systems to allow you to, to have that single source of the planning truth to be able to plan across all those different use cases and be able to use that as a way to make better decisions <laughs>